Welcome back and first up as you can see Jeff is uh, coating the inside of the header tank uh, with the Jeffco and there you can see uh, the fittings are all in there and, and those uh, switches there that trigger uh, when the fuel gets low at various different stages throughout the tank and there's the uh, the closeout panel as well getting another coat uh, to finish that off so just to make sure it's nice and uh, sealed nicely not going to have any uh, uh, leaking of the diesel through it. And here's Zach and uh, Devon working on that uh, right winglet plug, um, giving it its first round of sanding. And there, you see Devon's just patching some of the little uh, nicks and holes and stuff that are usually get you know when it comes off the mill there. And there's the second one in putty uh, on the mill, and almost done there actually. So you see you've got the ball mill on there, and using that to sort of work in underneath the edge of that leading edge. Because uh, you you know you can't run that with a with a flat mill because just the angles too um, obtuse there. And here's the header tank again. You see uh, Jeff's gone gone and uh, bonded it together there, and just a bunch of clamps around there to hold it n nice and snug uh, while that uh, all cures. And you can see all the fittings and stuff in there now. So last thing is just to trim around the flange just to bring it to sort of a one inch uh, dimension. And here's the left winglet plug now, so that one's uh, finished on the machine and it's been uh, sprayed with the guide coat there, so that's ready for its uh, first round of sanding and that came out well, it didn't have any problems with that one. And in order to make the tank look neat and tidy, Jeff um, has also painted it on the outside and there you can see the flange has been trimmed back, so just um, the minimum required there, about an inch. So uh, yeah, it looks good there, it's all, all painted up on the outside as well. So uh, that one's pretty much done now. And this is that plug that you're looking at a minute ago, and so that one's already got a quick round of sanding, and uh, there it's got the primer on it already, so that one moved along uh, super fast. Uh, the guys were just all over that one when it came off the machine, so um, good progress there. And this is the one for the right side, and you can see they've got it sort of leaning up um, against, a, or sort of sitting on its side there, so it's easy enough or easier to work underneath the flange there for uh, sanding and just uh, getting it all sorted out there. And Jordan, who's been working on the engine for us a little bit, uh, was in again on Thursday, installed the uh, serpentine belt and also that aluminum tube there that you see in the upper left, which is the heater return. So more progress uh, happening on the engine there. And we had a little bit of a low spot here in the transition from the vertical part of the winglet uh, into the curve there. And I think it was actually in the CAD. It was just difficult to see. And so Jeff was just basically um, filling that and sort of blending it back in. So it uh, got the right shape there. And here's that left side one. So that was the one that was just primed that you saw earlier. And um, had the guide coat sprayed on. Now Zach's sanding on it so it's already you know second coat go around and sanding so these things have moved along uh, really quickly and there's a final look at the header tank with all the fittings installed and uh, all obviously closed out and that so that's basically all ready to go now the only thing left is um, just how we're going to mount it would just be some bolts holding it on to uh, the aft bulkhead but we won't be doing that until we sort of set the aft bulkhead uh, in place and at least get everything mocked up with the gear brackets. And back on the engine, one of the things I hadn't addressed yet was the um, the pipes going from the radiator there that you see highlighted um, in and out of the engine for you know just your main water returns. And I was thinking of doing it you know with re regular you know kind of uh, radiator hoses, but wasn't happy with uh, you know the bends or whatever that were going to be in there. So I just decided just to do it out of aluminum pipe as well. So here you can see I've um, set it up in the CAD there and now I've ordered um, the pipe for that or the bends so I can just basically cut it the same way as I did all the stuff for the turbo. So that'll be uh, next week that materials will be arriving. And uh, here you can see Mark who does our FEA, you may recall, who's been uh, working on the uh, retraction arms there for the nose gear and here you can see this is basically how it operates there. So again just a hydraulic cylinder to push that and that's basically lifting it up. So the right hand side here would be the, f the nose of the aircraft, the left hand side would be the tail of the aircraft. So that's how it's all going to work and that'll all be out of 4130 tubing and soon he'll be finished with that so I'll be able to start ordering those materials. 
And over to the belt drive um, that you've seen before here. So there's a ton of different bits and pieces that are off the shelf that I've been uh, slowly ordering for this. So I have basically everything when it starts to come together. And here's kind of my spreadsheet with all the links to all the different um, websites here where, where you can order the different bits and pieces. You know, there's bolts and rings and seals and all sorts of different stuff in there. So that's been keeping me busy, but I've pretty much got everything ordered now. So And half of the stuff's already come in. So it won't be long we'll be able to start putting things together with that. And here you can see I've broken it into three pieces. You've got the lower drive, the upper drive, and the uh, tensioner. So there's some of the mill pieces, the one in my hand there, and then in the bottom here there's you know different bolts that hold it together and, and bearings and things like that, the stuff that's come in already. And uh, here's the parts, or some of the parts for the upper one. So there's the main kind of uh, housing that bolts up to the engine mount. And there's a couple of uh, seals there. And... Um, there's you know other things in the bottom of that box and then over here this is for the tensioner so a bunch of different little bolts and bits and pieces for that so I'm just breaking into those three things gonna make it a bit easier and lastly we really lucked out this week I just happened to stumble upon this on the web so that what's highlighted there on the left of this picture is this um, adapter plate with um, a pulley and, and drive and stuff that's for the governor uh, for controlling the prop and we were actually thinking that we were going to have to create our own one of these things which would have been the plate and the little spline drive there and the pulley and belts and things like that and it turns out you know this company up in Canada has basically done exactly what we wanted and it's available to actually buy that so I've actually ordered one of those and as a backup we may end up um, if for some reason our belt drive doesn't work out for us um, for any given reason that uh, these guys you know have a, a gear drive here that uh, could potentially work for us as well um, so that's kind of a fallback plan that we have or we may even actually get them to uh, mill the um, or you know create the uh, belt drive for us anyway that was a real uh, stroke of luck it's going to save us a ton of time and a lot of money so we're really happy about that so that's our update for this week and uh, thanks again for watching